Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to the Melody of Grisaya. So last time Yuji started his bodyguard job, his babysitting job, whatever you want to call it, um, I guess him and Marion went to the zoo and Yuji beat up some bad guys. It was, it was pretty funny to be honest, I wasn't expecting that comedic relief or whatever you want to call it, but that was pretty entertaining. So we'll jump right back in here, we're apparently at the movies. On this fabulous day with Marion. <clears throat> Let's get right into it, guys. A movie I can't go wrong with. Alright. If that's what I'm looking for, then one that doesn't trigger any strong reactions either way is best. The sort of movie that's a fun-filled experience, with a story that's easy to understand, and a villain who loses at the end. How about an animated movie? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but the voices sounded a little quiet in the last episode, and they do in this ep- like, th I feel like they're gonna sound a little quiet for me here in this one as well. I'm not really sure. Um, what do I have the audio at? Yeah, that's how I had it in the other ones, I think. Alright, well, whatever. I'm looking in the background. Popcorn? Large is four dollars? That's- that's incorrect. That is drink- three dollars that's very incorrect like that that's not how it actually is i want to watch it it's in 3d you know 3d did you know that milady 3d is terrible then let's go and see it you've got to try everything once and anyway you get free cookies when you go into the theater what that's that's impossible don't you want cookies yeah i'll have the mint why don't you have the maple syrup, so we share half? Actually, it's not like I wanted to watch a children's animation. It's just that any adult who wasn't accompanying a child would stand out there. I'd notice immediately if an assailant came in. It's alright for adults to put on a kiddie act in front of children who look up to them anyway. It puts the child in a better mood if they get the, in the impression that they're more grown up than, a, than the adult. My master was actually a great role model in that scene. Back then, I thought she was acting like a kid in front of me for my sake, but it's frightening to know that the woman really does regress into childhood sometimes. Being raised by a master like that might be the reason why I've become such a rebellious man, but I'll never forget the gratitude I felt. So, my lady, I'll go and get the tickets. What? Holy shit, she sounds so damn quiet. Guys, it cannot just be me. Okay, I'll I'll go back through the footage on this episode and I'll see if it's actually like actually quiet, but I don't know, maybe maybe it is just me. Maybe it isn't. I I really am unsure. Why? What? Why do you think that? Well, she is smart, smarter than I would be at nine years old, but, I mean, shit, I'm a grown-ass man, and I, I, if, if I want to go see the, the next, um, the next Incredibles movie, and no one, no one, none of my friends want to go, I'm, I'm gonna go in, man, like, it's gonna be weird as hell, but, I'm gonna go, but I ain't no assassin. I see. Well spotted, milady. I expected nothing less from you. What? What? Of course. Right. I'll just go take him out. I'll be back in a moment. I'm so very confused on that boyfriend part. What the hell? She's nine! What? Good afternoon! You, you're an assassin, right? Of course you are. I can see it in your eyes. You're an assassin. What the hell are we... What are we doing? But milady, this guy... <laughs> God damn. No adult in their right mind would watch a kid's movie on their own. So that can only mean the guy's an assassin. What is she whacking us with? 
Understood. You can stop hitting me now. It hurts. <laughs> what? He got away. Is that okay? And I guess we really are the child here. Yes, my lady. It was painful to let a man I knew to be an assassin slip through my fingers, but it looks like we kept the enemy in check. We watched the rest of the movie, which went by without a hitch. I was watching it a little half-heartedly since I thought it was just a kid's movie, but the film was pretty moving, wasn't it, milady? <laughs> hmm? Did you end up crying? <laughs> what? Huh? Wasn't it good? <laughs> ah, shit. Me? What the fuck is Yuji doing? Those cookies sure were delicious. I suppose that's true. Happens. Oh, that scene when Andy the porcupine has to leave Gunther behind after he fell into the sea, but picks himself up and goes back home in the name of friendship? That was really touching. Uh, I, I honestly do not know what's up with Yuji here. Now, now, if you're angry about the cookies, I'll buy you some more. I understand you're hungry, aren't you? Why don't we go for a meal? It's gotten a little dark, so I'll call a taxi. Do you have a restaurant you'd like to go to? No. They say that American food has improved compared to the old days, but I wasn't around back then, so I'm only able to think of it as real slop. That, the sort of that makes you go, this is what I get for $6? When I eat some junk that's simply fried or boiled with something sprinkled on top, I really get the sense I'm in America. At moments like those, it hits me how amazing Japanese food is. Even fast food is completely different depending on where you are. Take hamburgers, for instance. In America, everything's sloppy. You can go over the same famous chains and get stuff that tastes similar in Japan. The difference is that when you're finished, you don't throw the contents of your entire tray, including the utensils, in the trash. It's common sense in Japan to return the tray along with all the tableware you use to the counter. That fact makes me feel even guiltier about this, but I've heard that sorting utensils from the trash is an actual job in the States. Though the fact that a job like that should exist in the first place is just typical of the great United States of America. I used to work at a restaurant. I didn't really have to go through the trash for utensils all the time, but sometimes they would somehow end up there. Even so, I was the dishwasher and everything gets sent to me. I honestly had no idea how silverware and other shit fell into the trash when I'm right there pretty much always watching the trash. That's just me ranting here, but I just never understood it. But it's a job that exists, having to dig through the trash for that shit. Plates, silverware, you name it. Anyway, there's obviously no way I'll be taking the little madame, madam, to eat hamburgers. I've only taken her to kid-friendly places so far. Now's the time to take her somewhere more suitable for grown-up dates. I'll stage it so she realize, she, while she realizes it, why it's necessary to keep the adult world at a distance. I look for a place with good reviews online, call to make a reservation, and make sure the little madame's outfit is in line with the dress code. Well, I'm glad that I've never had to go to a fancy restaurant then. Well, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. What the f- Where the hell does that even come in? What I said. 
My lady, I have a few matters to take care of, so I'll be right back. Order our food from the menu while I'm gone, please. Yes, if you please. Apologies, I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This is kind of flip-flopped. Wait, I thought she didn't know she was being targeted, and that's why... I'm, I'm very confused as to what the hell's going on. I've kind of just been rolling with it, and I'm having a good time. Yes, Yuji's kicking ass again. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. Have you decided on your order? It looks like there are a couple of set courses. Would you like the meat or the fish, my lady? I'll have the fish course then. If you find that the roast's not to your taste, we can swap. Clever girl. I didn't say that. Looks like you can choose between two types of dessert. Pear compote with ice cream or strawberry cheesecake. Which one would you like? Understood. Yeah, what the hell? I'll go and order now. As I look up from the menu and turn toward the staff standing in the hall across the room, trying to catch their attention, I half raise my arm and the alerted waiter approaches. Noticing that we don't have water on our table, he pours us some. On completing the order, I turn to Marion once more. Absolutely not. I'd get in trouble if you were to get drunk. I'd be arrested. I've heard that women can get drunk on water alone if they're with a man. No, it's just something my master's bimbo friend said while she was drunk. <laughs> Sadly. They're like mothers or sisters to me. Actually, it'd be more accurate to say they're my owners, I guess. They've got me on a tight leash. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. My lady, have you kept dogs before? Damn, dude. Golden Retrievers are hella awesome. That's good. It's a kind and smart breed. Well, she kind of did say she had a dog, so I was kind of expecting to hear what happened. How on earth did that happen? It's like, yeah man, uh, we, we got a hella go against this guy. I don't want to go face to face with him. Let's kill the dog. That sounds tough. I feel like that's with Yuji as well. Maybe. I'm kind of thinking back on American Dad, how uh, Stan, the main character, never wanted another dog because he pretty much had to put down his childhood dog. It kind of hurt him, so... Yeah. It's not a story you often hear from your average family. I feel as if a lot of wealthy families can be uh, seriously messed up, to be honest. What? That's pretty complicated. Who's your real father then? 
調べたことはないけど多分ファミリーの誰かでしょう And now your life's been turned upside down because of your family's being targeted? That's not my job. And, it, it, and isn't it sad to be pitied by a man like me? <sighs> Whatever. I don't think the mark of a happy family is necessarily a proud and reliable father. Or a kind mother who sticks test papers with perfect scores on the fridge. Apart from my sister being quite special, we were just a regular family. No, 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 no. It's a long story, and it's not the kind of thing to discuss over dinner. Why don't we talk about it, or why don't we talk about something more fun? Let's see. Do you like monster trucks? Yes, let's just ask a nine year old girl that. That's what I'm saying. Literally, what they're called. Trucks fit fitted with monstrously large tires. <coughs> Apologies. I was trying to come up with a topic of appeal to the fair fairer sex. I, th that doesn't work, though. And I wasn't sure whether it was better to talk about romance. Or something wholly unrelated to love. I'm terrible at discussing matters of the heart. But would you rather talk about that instead? Apologies, I don't have much experience with women. Do you have some prejudice against men, milady? A lot of people in my area here in California think just getting married is a great way to just like financially do well. I'm pretty sure it helps with insurance. I think my dad told me something about that. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong, but、uh, a lot of people see be getting married with someone kind of just like as a, as a boost or something, as a little bit of a、uh, handicap for the adult life. I'm not one to talk, but your upbringing was messed up, milady. I read it somewhere in a magazine, but apparently love and marriage are different. Apparently, love is about wanting to share your happiness with another person, and marriage is about enduring miserable times together as well. <clears throat> it hasn't clicked yet.、Uh, well, milady, do you want to be happy together? Or would you be alright being miserable if it's with me? I don't mind if you just go with your gut feeling. Which is it? <gasps> What's gonna happen? Hmm? Oh no. We're gonna get arrested if people see this. What? Is it a secret? Ah, shit. We're getting arrested. Ow. Why did you just hit me? How does a nine year old American girl know what that is? And I'm pretty sure she can say it much better than I can. I know, this, I know they're speaking in Japanese, but that's only because they, that, that, that's their actors. But they're, in a way, I, I, I guess they're supposed to be speaking English right here in this scene. There is no way she could, she could actually say that word perfectly, but I bet she did. That pisses me off that she, one, knows what the word is, and two, can probably say it better than I can. God damn it. I've heard of it before. I feel like you got the wrong end of the stick with Japanese culture. This place looks pretty good. You got it, homie. Where? Ah, if you're going to the bathroom, don't use the cubicle at the very end. A ghost will appear. <laughs> Alright. Well, now she's gonna check. Had the opposite effect. That child is the type to do exactly what you tell her not to. Though, having said that, it wouldn't have been right to tell her to use the stall at the end either. Perhaps it would have been better not to say anything? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> I told her not to use the one at the end. There was a guy with a knife in the kitchen, so I thought he was an assassin. 
Okay, it depends on the knife, and it really depends on how he's holding it, and who he, and who he's looking at while holding it in that position. The guy was wearing a suit, so he was a waiter, not a chef. Plus, the knife he was holding was a military issue. I had some trouble taking him out since he was fairly strong. Have you seen Terminator? I'd say he looked kind of similar. <coughs> if you keep cursing me like that, you just might be able to meet my parents. Uh, was that man that we hella tried to beat up at the movie theater like actually a bad guy? See, he was an assassin after all. Keep your head down and get down on the floor. Oh shit. Man, things are really taking a turn in this story. Holy shit, dude. That epilepsy. You need me to explain that now? What the hell is happening? I hit him in the leg. Now's your chance, my lady. Please make a run for it. I said make a run for it. I'll cover you. So let's get out of here. There's nothing for it. Can you hold this for a sec? So we can pull out our secret weapon. I'll carry you out. Oh, never mind. I'll carry you out of here. If I'm about to be shot, use the gun to counterattack. Got that? I'm gonna break the window and jump out on three, okay? All right, milady, now shoot. Doesn't matter if you miss. Shoot two or three times, and the enemy will stop chasing us. Shoot. You're a natural, aren't you? Where do you train? <laughs> Yuji does things the interesting way. Really? What a coincidence. It's the first time I've given a gun to a client. Fire a few shots to celebrate. And we're really running. Is that so? Let's call a taxi. That was quite a thrilling dinner experience. And we ended up missing out on the food. You got both your dress and your hair messed up. Pity. This suited you quite well. <coughs> I'm Japanese, remember? I'm Yuji Kazumi. Occupation... Uh, what's my job description again? Even I don't know what my work involves these days. No, that's not it. I'm from a Japanese organization. Not exactly. That's not quite right. But you're not that far off either. Sixty percent of the population are samurai. The remaining forty percent are ninjas. All Japanese civilians have some experience in judo or kendo, and half of them are sundere. Ah, uh, actually, that was a joke. You look really tired. Let's go home for now and finish our meal at the hotel. Man, this story is taking so many twists and turns. Once bitten, twice shy, they say. But ever since that incident, Marion has begun treating or treading more carefully. She avoids going out unprepared, and the time she spends cooped up in the hotel watching TV and reading books gets longer and longer each day. Thanks to that, Marion stopped complaining, and even though it makes my job as a bodyguard remarkably easy, I can't shake the feeling that I'm restricting the child's freedom. At least until her father's testimony is over, I'll do everything I cannot to leave her side. Alright. I almost read that incorrectly. Milady, your food's ready. The starter's a broccoli and salmon salad with cold leek and potato soup. They had some nice sea bass in today, 
so I also prepared some creamy mushroom pasta with sea bass and spinach. She seems a lot nicer. Yes, my lady. What would you like for dessert? We have banana, I don't know, and orange sherbet available. Like what I'm trying to do? They both look delicious, though. If you're worried about lack of exercise, we can go to the hotel pool or the gym and get your body moving. Yeah, honestly, I would, I would understand that. I mean, later on, like with Machina, we, we saw what happened, or at least I hope you guys saw what happened, or at least know what happened. You guys know what I mean. True, but afterwards, you don't wake up in the night and you look extremely well rested the following day. I hate that too. I'll clean your ears for you after. Yes, with your head on my lap. What? What? Hehe. <laughs> That was the perfect response. <laughs> Meow, what the fuck are we doing? Ah, shit. God damn it, I hate it when I skip in this shit. Because it doesn't stop the audio. I'm not necessarily teasing. Seeing a surprising side to you just left a deep impression on me, milady. What are you whacking us with again? That hurts. You don't have to hit me. Ha 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 ha! Alright. Now, let's have our food before it gets cold. Over the past few days, I've noticed a few things while spending time with Marion. She's selfish, short-tempered, and she's unable to put herself in other people's shoes. She gets everything she wants, and she's definitely been a spoiled rotten, or spoiled rotten by her parents. But rather than saying she's had a spoiled upbringing, you can also argue that she's been treated like an inconvenience by her parents, who think she'll be happy as long as they give her money. She may be insensitive to the suffering of others, but she grew up in a highly dysfunctional environment. I doubt that any child could have made it through a mess like that unharmed. Just telling her frankly to buckle up would be really harsh. Thinking about it that way, selfishness and affection are two sides of the same coin. She says selfish things to work out how much the other person's willing to give. And that short temper of hers is rooted in frustration. With the fact that she'll still... Why, fuck. With the fact that she's still a child and unable to grow up sooner. If you want people to be kind to you, you must first be kind to yourself. If you want to be loved by others, you must first love yourself. I wonder when she'll realize that. Could I teach the kid about this, just as Asako and JB taught me? I feel like I'll definitely succeed if I teach her through actions instead of words alone. <laughs> yes? What? Japanese, it's like the third time I'm saying it. Exactly what you see, and the way I live isn't anything to brag about. Terrible one. There has been a lot of hardship. Besides, it's not that interesting. Yeah, it's not that interesting. Say that to the grand route. Oh, I'm pretty sure there will be. I suppose. Though, I don't need anything spectacu spe spectacular in life. I'd rather have little moments of joy. The smaller the better. Too much happiness at once makes people go mad. It's better to have a little bit every day. If you cherish those moments forever, you'll be happiest. At least, that's what I think now. Maybe. That's a bit too extreme. For example, I find today's dessert, the whatever, really delicious. I'm just saying it's good to be able to get plenty of happiness from something like that. Then you should have it. Like I said before, come on. Take a bite. Now say, ah. It's delicious, right? Here, let Kazumi feed you. 
Say ah. Uh. Oh my god, she's actually doing it. Munch, munch. See? Tasty, right? Have another bite. She's actually doing it. What the fuck? Oh, apologies. The telephones. It's from HQ. Is it alright if I go out? Hmm. I just toss the phone off the ver veranda and go back to the ah stuff like normal. Well, I think everyone's is. Really? Well, I decide for myself what my idea of normal is, so it might well be a bit different from everyone else's. Yeah, it's been ringing a while. Alright, I'll just be a moment. It's me. Ooh, Isabella, it's been a while. Why? It's the Major. Rare for you to call personally. Is there a problem? Ah, shit. No problems in particular, though the car driving around the hotel block has piqued my interest. Is there anything you can do? Unfortunate. Kill first, provide evidence later. That's the way it goes with Surf. If that's the case, Major, don't you think that my failing this mission would make your job a lot easier? <clears throat> well, looks like we got a shooter. Interrogations? Who? Huh. She sounds like one. Sounds like the situation has gotten pretty sticky. Ah, uh, two days is nothing, but it is in Persona 5. You can't be too greedy, or you'll be headed for an early grave. Just as I reported, no problems whatsoever. That's right. She's changed a lot since that incident at the restaurant. I assume she mended her ways a little after having such a scary experience. <clears throat> First, she stopped glaring at me like I'm some piece of shit on the street. And she stopped complaining too. Before, she used to get in a huff whenever things didn't go her way. Pretty much. Well, I guess. Is that what it is? Huh? 
いるのまったくこの私を待たせていつまで電話しているつもりよ As I said, that was a misunderstanding. It's not a problem. Why are female officers so quick to. Huh? Ah, yes, apologies. Hell yeah, we are. Anyway, two more days. Uh, well, I think it certainly is a lot of trouble, but it's part of the job. Ah,、oh, man, she's listening. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, ああ、なるほど。私の前では言わないようにしてたんでしょ。だったら最後まで私に聞かれないようにしなさいよ。本当。なあ、シット。スキップ。一人で浮かれて馬鹿みたいじゃない。どうせ子供相手の簡単な